attaching an invisible zipper this is what it looks like you might want to iron it once if it's been rolled up or folded before stitching i'll be attaching it on an old failed project open up the zipper and line it up to where you want it to be on the garment mark out where you want the teeth of the zipper to be now place the zipper with the zip facing upwards exactly like that align the teeth to the line that you marked on your garment with the zip still facing upwards and pin it do this for both the sides if you pin it it'll be really easy for you to stitch same thing with the zip still facing upwards align it to the marking on the garment and pin it in place make sure to align the top edges also otherwise the zip won't close properly if you want to add a hook or something like that leave half an inch or a centimeter depending on how much space you want on top now stitch right next to the teeth of the zip as close to it as possible for this you can use a zipper foot you can get this with most sewing machines and try to press the zip open cuz often times it tends to curl up and try to get your stitch as close to the teeth as possible when you've done both sides this is what it'll look like now if you flip it over it look like this you can either stitch along this line or even iron it i'm just pinning it over here to hold it in place now flip it inside out and your zip will close like this it looks super neat and it's really easy to do as well now to close it to make sure the zipper doesn't pop out do a large zigzag stitch use a normal foot again just at the place where you want the zip to stop and make sure it doesn't go through the teeth of the zipper otherwise your needle will break if you have one of those metal clamps you can put that instead but if not you can use this in the same color as the fabric cut off the excess and there it is